Keanu Reeves, enjoyed a career that spanned four decades and was in some of the most memorable films of that time. Even the laid-back star has aged well. Some say too well, but why has Reeves turned into a pop culture phenomenon? He has been dubbed the Internet Boyfriend and is the inspiration for countless memes. But what is it that really sets Reeves apart from his peers? Patrick Duffy's tragedy is simply heartbreaking. In the late 2010s, Reeves helped create the hit John Wick movie franchise, landed an attention-grabbing role in Always Be My Maybe, and landed a piece of the Toy Story empire. This Keanu assist introduced him to a new generation of fans and rekindled the torch for many other fans. But make no mistake, his rise began long before all of this. Indeed, his mythical status has been slow cooking for many years. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will find out the top 5 moments that made everyone love Keanu Reeves. Wondering why everyone loves Keanu Reeves? The truth is, there is nothing that made Reeves what he is today. The cult of Keanu was forged through a combination of events and personality traits that made him loved by his growing audience. Let's take a look at some of his best moments along the way. Keanu Reeves has a peculiar acting style. Keanu Reeves doesn't have the perfect film reel. No actor does that. He has had roles that have been criticized by critics, such as the role of Jonathan Harker in Bram Stoker's Dracula, and others that some celebrate in hindsight for their awkwardness, such as Johnny Utah in Point Break. His acting style has been classified as hollow and even weird, partly accurate and partly bloody from his early roles playing hollow heads somehow. Throughout his career, Reeves has managed to amaze and disappoint audiences with the same performance. As Film International stated in 2011, his greatest asset as an actor was simultaneously the greatest source of ridicule in critical and public circles. His instinctive and reactive ability to capture a character in a series of blank stares and readings of monosyllabic jokes. Keanu Reeves, the anti-celebrity. Keanu Reeves looks different than most celebrities. Sure, his acting style has been called anti-acting, but it's more about how he behaved during his lifetime in the spotlight. The seemingly subconscious and unconventional fashion choices led GQ UK to call him the Prince of Grunge, as much of his style would eventually become fashionable. Notably from the start, he also rejected the luxurious lifestyle of the Hollywood elite and chose a nomadic path. I had a homeless life, Reeves told people in 2006. There's a little bit of a gypsy in me, and living like that seemed to make sense. I couldn't sit down. I like going to new places. Rent apartments, stay in hotels. Not only does he emit anti-celebrity energy, but Reeves also has a documented history of decisions that go against the lifestyles of the rich and famous. After speed success, Reeves reportedly went to Winnipeg, Canada for a three-week Hamlet theatrical run that paid $2,000 a week, turning down a role in heat along the way. Years later, like a true superstar, Reeves was caught waiting in line to attend a farewell party for his movie in the rain. If you act like you don't care about being famous, it's probably because you never wanted that part of the business. In 1992, Reeves told TV hits, VOO is not me. I don't want to be super famous, man. That would be awful. Keanu Reeves is known for his kindness and good manners. One of the main reasons Keanu Reeves is revered by fans, the media, and his peers is because he presents himself in a very positive light. He is a good person and treats others well. He was filmed walking through an airport on his birthday, stopped by most fans to take a picture with them, which he does without objection. In a 2000 Rolling Stone interview, it was said that Reeves seems to go out of his way to be polite. The magazine also noted that he's involved in agony, suggesting the actor's long pauses during interviews were a consequence of this. But Reeves once said he inherited his mother's English manners, explaining that they are so ingrained that they are now second nature. These ways were fully shown in a viral post on Twitter from 2019, which showed Reeves using a floating hand technique in photographs with multiple women, an international sign of respect and good etiquette. Keon Reeves' Quiet Charity Keon Reeves is a charitable man. He is known. Countless posts are citing this knowledge, but most are about the actor who donated millions and millions of dollars. In reality, the details are not clear. That doesn't mean he doesn't give. It's just that he does it silently and without too much publicity. Sure, the media and fan sites make it known that Reeves is a saint, but there seem to be a lot of myths mixed with real-life examples. In 2010, the Long Beach Press-Telegram reported that Reeves visited Miller Children's Hospital and spent time with some of the young patients. 
In 2020, the actor continued his efforts, despite the freezes caused by the pandemic, by donating a 15-minute Zoom date to the highest bidder, with the proceeds going to Camp Rainbow Gold, an Idaho childhood cancer charity. Keanu Reeves' beloved films. Many elements, truths, and myths came together to create the popular image of Keanu Reeves. But no one should overlook the actor's immense cinematic resume. Reeves has been part of an exceptionally large number of films with a cult following, and for good reason. It all started in 1989 with Bill and Ted's The Excellent Adventure, a film that would surprise almost everyone, generate a huge audience, and generate two sequels, including one more than 30 years later. In 1991, Reeves appeared in two cult classics, Catherine Bigelow's Point Break and Gus Van Sant's independent film My Own Private Idaho. While the latter is now recognized as a triumph of queer cinema, Point Break was also ahead of its time. With Bigelow's masterful touch, the film avoided the usual macho markers of 90s action movies. At speed, three years later, Reeves has established himself as an action movie icon. The outstanding 1994 film is still celebrated as one of the great action films. The hugely popular Matrix trilogy helped reshape the film industry in the early 2000s and received new life in contemporary film theory. Reeves's 2005 film Constantine would find a small cult following for years but was then struck with renewed interest after the ridiculously popular John Wick franchise showed similarities in the spirit in the late 2010s. Some might call it luck or good luck, but Reeves seems to have a knack for choosing films that push boundaries and stand the test of time. Tell us in the comment section your thoughts. That's it from today's video. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay happy. See you in the next video.